Hello! My name is Isto. Actually, my name is Linkso, the Night Cat. Jumpy, jumpy, jump. <laughs> Welcome back to Skyrim. And the adventures of Linkso, the Night Cat, who likes to jump. I wonder if there's more cinematic controls. I'd like to be able to, for instance, I'd like to be able to uh, make the camera sit still while Linkso jumps up and down. Anyway, um. I shifted to, uh, blah, 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 let's see, what do I want to talk about? Oh, okay, so I was looking up some stuff about the UI, and it turns out you can use the number keys. So let me show you how to do that real quick, because it is extremely handy. So first thing you need to do is go into your items, and you need to favorite anything you want to use a uh, quick slot, uh, the number pad, or not, not the number pad, but uh, the one through eight on your keyboard if you're playing on PC. Um, if you're playing on a uh, console, this does not apply to you. I'm not sure how it works on a console. All right, so first thing you have to do is favorite what you want to use. So uh, I just picked up this thing from the quest I did the other day, uh, the other day in Skyrim. So I'm going to favorite that. See this little arrow that pops up there? Okay, then we come out of there. Hit Q for the uh, favorite menu. And then when you have those things... Um, equipped like this you can hit the number you want to assign them to and it, it won't um, I don't think I don't think it will assign let's see what happens here yeah see you have to have a uh, an individual number for each one um, which is kind of annoying but um, it's much better than having a jump into this menu every time let's see I want that to be two and three and then I'm going to make my bow 4. And I will make, uh, let's see, Night Eye 8. Unrelenting 4, 7. I still haven't got that to work. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to use that yet. I'm not sure. Until I kill a dragon or something. And let's see. Uh, healing, I'll make 5. Alright, so hit Q to exit out of there. Here's my weapon. Okay, so now I have my one handed sword and shield equipped. Hitting 1. Does this? Fuck! I, okay, I did that before by mistake. Everybody gets pissed if um everybody gets pissed if you uh <laughs> if you kill the chicken. All right, so let me redo this. Um, okay, so going back to items, weapons. Uh, okay, favorite that. Go to quick slot. One. Two, three, four, five, eight, and seven. Okay, so <laughs> you know what? Let me um, let me run out of town real quick and do some testing here. And you cannot jump while sprinting. That's interesting. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Here's one. Okay, there's one. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so this is a, I wanted to I wanted to play around with this a little bit to get a feel for it. And I hit one to pull out my sword. Hey up! Hey up! Swing and a miss. And when I hit one again to put it away, I immediately went to healing. So let's um, pull out my one-handed sword and see if I can still... Haha! <laughs> cool! And then hitting three will bring out my shield. Hitting four. Bow and arrow. Alright. Five is healing. Oh, you have to hit it twice to uh, go to both hands, okay? So hitting two and three should sword and shield, then uh, five five. What's my other hand doing? Why can't I see my other hand? Huh, that's weird. I wonder what my other hand is doing. And now the both hands pop up. I'm not sure why that is, but um, I just couldn't see the other hand. The other hand was still healing. Okay, so anyway, 
There's a quick little uh, instructional video for you on how to use the numbers to make combat so much better. Oh, I'm so glad I looked that up. Let me get this stuff and put that away. Okay, so um, last time I went through that dungeon and I got a shout. I killed a bunch of drugs. And this time, let's see, I'm supposed to talk to this. This is that guy's sister that I'm supposed to talk to. And um, when I said earlier that I don't intend on planning, uh, following the main story, that's not strictly true. What, it, what I meant was that I may follow it, I may not. I may veer away from it from at, at any moment and start doing something totally random or start doing a thief uh, guild or something like that, you know? So, um, just just to expect that. Go to Riverwood? Oh, if you're okay, so let's talk work, to her. Go a fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Okay. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. Hey! If there is anything else hey, you hey. need, just let me know. She likes the cats. Um, so is this going to cost money? I don't see my uh, gold. Can I just... Here, let me have that. Can you give me the beer? I'm just going to sell all this stuff, basically. Cooked beef. Oh, I'm a cat. I don't want cooked beef. I want it raw, baby. I do want those. Uh, Ring of Minor Smithing. Cool. And Silver Garnet. Yeah, give me that. And some carrots. I'm a cat. I don't eat <laughs> vegetables or roots or anything. But whatever. There is something you could do for me. Oh, yeah? For all of us here. Okay. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So, she gave me a key to the house. So, I guess now I can stay here until I get a house of my own that I actually buy and can put my stuff in. Here's this dude. Let's talk to him real quick. You know, I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, you better get moving. Make yourself at home. Oh, am I... did I... Oh, okay, he's just changing chairs. I thought he thought he wanted me to go with him right now. That ain't my style, man. Let's see. I guess I can take all this stuff because it's not red. Seared slaughterfish. Yes, please. Seared slaughterfish. That sounds delicious. It looks delicious, too. Take garlic. Let's see. Now, how do I... um In Oblivion and Morrowind, you could pick things up. Okay, you just... Instead of... uh clicking E to pick something up, you hold it down. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna have some fun with that later. Um, is my shield out? Did you see that? Put that away. Put that shield on your back, buddy. Do you know how to carry a shield properly? Ooh, is this skooma? Oh no, just wine. So basically I can just sell this stuff. At the local shop, and if I would, it in normal normally at the beginning of a game like this, I would basically <laughs> rob this place blind. I would rob every place in town blind, and then sell everything. Uh, but if you notice, I already have twenty five hundred gold, which is kind of ridiculous. Nord mead. No, no, I'll put that away. Wrong button. But I will take all this. I'll take all the alcohol, basically. All right. 
So let's go we're outside. Village, but we work hard and okay. take care of our own. Good. Let's go outside and uh, look at the map. See what the options are. Hello. Hello, cow. All right. So talk to the Jarl of White Run. White Run. Leak Falls Barrow. That's where I've already been. So as far as current quests, I can go to White Run, which I may do just to explore more land and gives me a uh, something to do, or I could join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Visit the College of Winterhold. Uh, let's see, how do I make that enter? Toggle active. Oh, okay. So where do I go for that one? I only see one quest marker. I don't know if you can have more than one at a time. Oh, maybe that's the... Uh... I don't know, I don't see a quest... Visit the College of Winterhold. White Run, White Run. Dawnstar. Winterhold is way over there. Okay, so I'll probably go here first. Um, so a little bit of history about Linkso and his exploits. Linkso is primarily a thief, a uh, cat burglar, if you will. But uh, as in other Elder Scrolls games, eventually I. I end up doing everything and maxing out pretty much everything. But I start out as a thief. Hello, doggy. Hey, Stump. How you doing, Stump? And I'm a bit of a bastard. Um, I basically, my sole purpose in life is to steal everything that's not nailed to the ground and uh, move it to my house and stuff and have just big hordes of diamonds and pillows and <laughs> whatever I feel like taking. Um... But I also, as a Khajiit, um, there's a lot of slave trade in uh, Tamriel, and I would uh, always like set free Khajiit and Argonian thieves that I found. So um, I may uh, I may join the rebellion to free Skyrim because that sort of sounds like something I would do, even though I'm gonna I'm still I'm still out to steal like everything that's not nailed to the ground. Nobody here. Awesome. It means all your loot are belong to me. Yeah, lock pick on air pelt. Yeah. Gold tankard robes deer hide. I guess I'll just take the valuable stuff since I've um I already have a decent amount of money. I'm just sort of stealing for the oh god damn it. Wrong button. I'm stealing for the fun of it, basically. And I'm, I basically, I click on every book I see, because some of them will give you skills um, upon reading them. So anytime I see a book, I just click on it real quick. Let's see, Iron Helmet, weight 5, value 60, alright. Oh, darn it, I keep hitting R instead of E. I'm still not quite, uh... oh yeah, give me that pack, I want that. I got that back from him. Now I'm gonna steal it away. I just keep it in my inventory. I'll put it in my house when I buy a house as like a trophy of one of my my early exploits in the land of Skyrim. All right, look around for some guards. Yeah. And that little, um, the line in the center of the screen is, oh, fuck. You're not supposed to be here. I'm not going to warn you again. Get oh. out, or I'll call the- Okay, damn it. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm not that good of a thief yet. 
Um, but uh, skill will come in time. Let's go to Hode and Garrett's house. Another good thing to do is to come back during the day when they're out and about. So I actually may do that. I may just come back later. Talk to this guy. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe I'll show you what I know. Hey, hey look at this. 290 gold to train me up in archery. Um. You know what? Uh, I'm not gonna pay for training just because I'm gonna get a lot of it out in the woods. If I w eventually want to max it out, I may come back for this. He's a bard. So he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Whoa. <laughs> Drama in the mountain well. village. Alright, let's find Camilla. Sven? I don't owe you money, do I? Need something? You got any ale or mead? Hard not to. There you go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, drink it up, buddy. Yeah, all right, where's Camilla? Going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Delphine. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. You're that visitor been poking around. They say a dragon attacked Helgen. Sounds like hogwash to me. We got really? rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much where else to tell. Is Camilla? I thought I was supposed to... I, the quest marker said... She would be here. I don't see her. Um, talk to the Jarl of White Run. Deliver. I guess I have to go outside. I guess I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, this is the other option. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, I am definitely stabbing this guy in the back. Although that is a bitchin' guitar slash loot. All right, where is Camilla? Where do I find her? Let's see. Deliver Fane dolls. Oh, I have to go to the trader. Okay. Oh, um, hang on. Let me make sure nobody's looking. Apparently it's nighttime and they're all gonna be sleeping. They're all gonna be a-sleeping. Oh, shit. Brilliant, brilliant English, cat man. Oh, god. Two lockpicks? Let's go. go no, no. Oh, this one's, um, kind of finicky. Yeah. I guess that lockpick is harder. Yeah, level up. Oh, I've already been here, so where is that chick? Do I, I may have to wait till the daytime, actually, to find her. Unless... There she is right there. Let's it just wake her up. so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Alright, look up at her, dude. Alright, uh, move the camera. Move the camera. <laughs> God, that moves slow. Hey, she's a saucy one. I think she belongs with that... Archer guy, not with that guy with the, not that uh, soppy uh, bard. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. Yeah. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll. You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet. 
It's a fine day with you around. Ooh, yay! Okay, let's go talk to the archer again. Maybe he'll give me something cool since he's an he's a fellow archer, a fellow, a fellow, a fellow member of the bow people thing. Let's see, I think I need to go over here. Run! Oops. Oh right. Okay. Um, before I do that, let's uh, let's level up. You level up. Um, I wish I knew what uh, these do. I'm gonna do stamina for now. I mean, I know they level up your health and stamina. I just don't know if there's any other uh, repercussions of doing those. Let's see. Speech pickpocket lock picking. Novice locks. Easier to pick. Who cares? I wonder if I have to do these in order. Like, I can't get to that tier before get going to this tier. No, go back. Go back. Uh, apprentice locks are easier to pick. Whoops. Oh, damn. <laughs> Not what I meant to hit. Let's see. I need 30 sneak to get to this. What else can I do in the armor? Muffled movement backstab. Can I do this one yet? Requires 30. No. And also requires... Oh, damn it. What's the back button? Down, I guess? Light armor. Archery. Let's look at archery. Uh, bows do 40% more damage. That's probably good. That requires 30. It looks like the next tier for most of these requires 30. Which I don't have in anything. So, I'll go ahead and do another, another one of those. Yay! Leveling up is fun! All right, so let's let's get in here. Talk to the. Oh, <laughs> damn it! I need to be a little bit more careful. What kind of thief just busts lockpicks one after the other? There we go. Oh, he doesn't see me. Maybe I can steal some stuff from him before. Uh, before uh, I talk to him and tell him <laughs> how I helped him out. Give me all those. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, that one was worth a lot. Steel, saber, cat, pelt. I don't mind if I... <laughs> don't mind if I do... See if I can steal from here without waking him up. <laughs> I wonder if I can steal that skull. I want this skull from my room. Ooh, I can. Troll skull. I don't have a house yet, though, so I don't want to carry around a bunch of heavy stuff. Ooh. Herbane's bestiary, ice wraiths. Okay, let's wake him up. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Yeah, is that it? Um, follow me, I need your help. Oh, cool. Well, I made friends with him at least. That's cool, mm -hmm. though. Until next time. Okay. See you later, buddy. Have a nice nap. <laughs> okay, so I could stick around and um, loot the other houses when everyone is awake and not in their houses, but uh, to be honest, it's not that there's not much of that much value here. And I already have almost 3,000 gold already, which is ridiculous. I guess this maybe, maybe the stuff in this game is gonna be really expensive. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna head out for White Run, way up there. I'm not sure exactly how long that'll take to get there. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this like a watch post to watch the, uh... I thought that was a bridge. It's not. Acrobatics and athletics have been removed as a skill. Which I knew. I knew that. Um, but I really liked increasing my character's jump height and run speed in Morrowind and Oblivion. What is that sound? You hear that? There's a bird. 
I don't know what the hell that is. Something in this tree is freaking out. Um, anyway, so um, I really like doing that. Whoa, a moose! Um, <laughs> be right with you. Over to my hotkeys. Oh, I somehow lost the hotkey for that. Not sure how that happened. I'm, I'm, sorry. I, I, uh, so, um, as far from what I've seen after just doing some Google searches, it's, it's basically impossible to. Oh. It's, no! Oh, damn it! He saw me. It's basically impossible to, uh... What is this guy doing? Oh, he's running across the river. Why can't I change back to my bow? You see that? It took off my, uh... Oh, it took off my hockey again. Yeah, it is... Oh, he keeps removing my hotkey for that. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Oh, do you see that? There's like a mountain lion. Chasing him, or a, is that a wolf? What is that? I can't tell. Okay, for some reason it's um, it's removing my hotkey anytime I deselect my bow. Don't know why it's doing that. It's really annoying. Anyway, so in the previous games, I really liked increasing my athletics and uh, acrobatic ability and my agility and being able to jump super high and run really far and it really played into my liking to play a... Whoa! Where's... No! Oh, wrong hotkeys. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I really like doing that and it played into my uh, sort of role as a cat burglar jumping up into people's balconies and coming in through their windows and stuff. And it looks like in this game, you can't do that, which is really disappointing. And I'm very disappointed to hear that, and I, I hope there's some way to do it, but... Even if there isn't, the great thing about playing on PC is there's going to be a modder somewhere who's going to create a mod that allows me to do that. So, one way or the other, I'm going to do that. Because I love uh, I love being super fast, like a superhero, jumping uh, huge leaps across the landscape. Let's go see what's over here. Oh, these buildings are cool. Shingles. Let's see, what's this say this is? Nothing. Ooh, there's definitely something right there. I wonder if that's White Run. That must be White Run. Man, where is the. Oh! Hunting Brew Metairie! Sweet! Okay, where's the door? Around the other side. I'm gonna steal some beers. What's that? You see that? My mouse just selected something. Oh. Harvest lavender. Lavender added. So I'm a little disappointed that it's it's not readily apparent how to increase your running speed and whatnot to obscene obscene levels. Let's go rip off this brewery, or at least take a look. <laughs> Damn it! There we go. That's a little better. Ooh, look at all this.
Let's just rob it blind. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. I heard voices, so some, somebody's in here somewhere. Possibly sleeping. Yeah, each of those is worth 20. That's awesome. You're not supposed to be in here. Oh. Hi. This is the last time I'll say it. Okay. Get out. All right. <laughs> Guards, trespasser. No. Hi. Hunting brew uses only the finest natural honey. Not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Cool. Thank you. All right, then. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay, so did I get out scot-free? <laughs> wow, I just stole a hell of a lot of stuff <laughs> from that brewery. Let's look at... Uh, let's see, where would it be? Food? Let's see, I took 165 hunting brew meads, which are valued at 20 gold each. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Jackpot! Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, brewery. God, I hope... He said he said um, he was calling the guards as I was leaving, but I hope, uh, hope that doesn't mean anything. Hopefully that was just bluster. Hi, dude. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Okay. Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? Words gone mad, I say. Yeah, I agree. So that must be Whiterun right there. That didn't take long to get here. I thought it would take a little bit longer than that. It's hard to tell how big the map is because it won't uh, it won't really zoom out all the, w all the way. You see, that's as far as it'll zoom out. So I'm not sure exactly uh, how far I've gone. The river to the east. Old Hajva Ironhand and his brigands are holed up in that cave. White River Watch. Oh, okay. Gee, I wonder if I'll have a quest to go investigate that. Alright, so let's head over to this town and I'll just pick all the flowers I see on my way for eventually to make potions. 